Hello everyone, my name is Noah and welcome back to episode 3 of the Orange Chicken Vlog. So, a little bit of an impromptu episode happening today because I was at Sam's Club and uh, yeah, I found those like pre-made meals there and that they had orange chicken as one of their pre-made meals. So, we're going to go ahead and give this a try today and uh, yeah, I get to essentially introduce my kitchen as well to the video. Um, you know, this will... This will be a setting in future videos as well as I potentially try out some recipes, making some recipes that I find online, um, or as I find more either pre-made meals or um, you know, maybe like frozen ones and stuff as well. I'll you know continue to use the kitchen, but yeah, here we are today, an introduction to the kitchen, and uh, yeah, doing a Sam's Club pre-made orange chicken meal. So let's get into it. All right, so just to show it a little bit closer, uh, yeah, so I'm making the orange chicken with jasmine rice, uh, weighed 2.39 pounds and just under $12. In terms of the cost and weight, it does vary a little bit. So there was like a two and a half pound one and then it was like $12.50. So, you know, you can kind of get a little bit more food, a little cost a little bit more and likewise, maybe even a little bit less if you could probably find one. So with that said though, uh, yeah, a little bit over two pounds and I think it looks pretty solid here with the two cups of orange chicken that I'll just try my best to divide it in half. And it's probably, probably and easily two meals out of this whole container for that matter. So yeah, that's what I'll be, do what I'll be doing today. So as a small side note and teaser, uh, this is typically what I go to Sam's Club for is this nice like big frozen box where there's two bags of orange chicken. Uh, the members mark orange chicken. This is typically what I go for, and there will be an episode on this uh, coming up soon. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for the. I'm excited for this one. This is probably my favorite orange chicken. So yeah, well, I'm excited to make a video on that one. Uh, but then also for Costco members, I mean, I'm talking about Sam's Club stuff here, of course. But for Costco members, I do have a video coming up for the Costco stuff as well. Um, I have a friend that has a Costco membership. He's gonna take me. I know that they have an orange chicken box that I'm, I would love to try, dying to try it out. So um, yeah, that is soon to come as well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get cooking now. Um, so I removed the sauces and the seeds. Um, so yeah, looks good. And one thing I will say that is not ideal Sam's Club is that they put their instructions on the bottom. Now I understand if you were to cook this entire thing, then who cares, uh, but I'm gonna use this more than once, so. Um, yeah, not ideal to have the instructions on the bottom here, but yeah, we had to put in the oven at 350 for, it said 40 minutes. Now, it also didn't say in the instructions if you're supposed to include the rice or not. I feel like including rice for 40 minutes in the oven would be, like, not ideal. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove the chicken onto a pan and put the chicken in the oven. All right, so I got the oven preheating right now. As you can see, I got about half the chicken out and onto the, the pan now. So I'll go ahead and cook this. It doesn't say anything about the chicken being raw, so I am kind of curious about why I would have to go in for 40 minutes for that matter, as even cooking raw chicken out of the refrigerator cooks in about 20 to 25 minutes for that matter. Um, I mean, it is supposed to go at 350, so maybe that's why. Um, normally, I guess for 20 minutes, I'd probably put it at like 400. Um, so, you know, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and keep an eye on it for that matter. And again, I don't really know if they want me to include the rice. It doesn't say anything in the directions. Um, so my biggest complaint, I guess, so far is at least for this, the directions are very unclear on how they want it to be prepared or cooked. Um, so it kind of just seems like you have to wing it on your own almost. All right, I decided that 350 for 40 minutes is just kind of ridiculous um, because, again, you can just take raw chicken breast, for example, and you know, cook it at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. So and these are just little tiny pieces. So I feel like we should be able to do that no problem with this one as well. Just I'll throw it in the oven for, honestly, given their size being so small, probably like 17 minutes or something like that. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna bake it at 400 degrees, which it's almost at 400 now. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I will cut the thickest piece in half just to double check that they're cooked thoroughly um, after 17 to 20 minutes about, so. Yeah, my biggest complaint so far, too, is definitely the lack of direction, um, especially when it comes to cooking in the oven. And speaking of the oven, my oven is ready, so I'm going to go ahead and put the chicken in. All right, so got my rice ready with the seeds on top. Um, I got the, got the orange sauce ready. I'll eventually pour that on. And uh, yeah, we got we got about half the container left. Um, so yeah, because, because of half the container and because of my confusion, 
Um, I guess I should clarify that. I think I'm gonna try my best to follow the directions on this other half. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll do our best to wing it um, with what we think could be potentially correct in terms of cooking this for today. Um, but then, yeah, I will go ahead and use the oven to cook this tomorrow um, or in the next coming days for that matter. So probably like a part two uh, to end off the video or a whole separate video in terms of part two cooking. I would say my, uh, my biggest concern right now is, you know, the rice at the moment is cold. So obviously if I put it in the oven, it would get hot. Uh, but I'm just, I'm curious if I put it in the oven for 40 minutes, would it like get all dried out though and like kind of crusty and burnt? I don't, I don't know. That's what I'm saying uh, in terms of the other half of that container though. I'll have to go ahead and try following that and test it out and see how the rice ends up for that matter. All right, we got 400 degrees in the oven for 17-ish minutes there. And as you can see, I mean, chickens all cook through, cut a nice chunk in half. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and throw it onto the plate and we'll go ahead and pour the orange sauce on. All righty, here it is. I went ahead and poured the orange sauce over the top. Um, you could obviously just like, you know, toss it into a bowl and really get a good coating over all the, all the chicken for that matter. But I like to pour it over the top just because I like to keep the chicken crispy. Um, you know, when you toss it in a bowl, kind of the breading, you know, soaks in some of that sauce and it you know, gets a little softer, but I like to keep the chicken crispy. So that's just me personally. I like to pour it over the top because of that, but let's go ahead and take some first bites. I feel like the chicken, uh, I feel like it kind of smells hot. I can kind of smell some like heat in terms of like, sp like spicy heat. So, um, yeah, go ahead and try it out now. Pull off the chicken a little bit. The way that I would describe this is very much so like a mandarin chicken, like literal like the orange mandarin chicken, um, rather than the kind of like a tangy or barbecuey type sauce orange chicken. It's definitely a little bit more. Uh, it definitely got some like mandarin, literal orange orange chicken flavor to it. It's pretty good. All right, I've had about half of it now, as you can see, and I will uh, kind of give you my final thoughts and recommendation on this one. Um, it is good. It's gotten better as I've been eating it. My rice is cold, but that's my own fault because I didn't bake it in the oven because I, I just, again, my biggest complaint is there's a lot of unknowns in terms of how they want you to cook it. So I will do a part two on this meal, essentially, because of, uh, because I have the other half. So, and I'll go ahead and try out their version of cooking it, uh, you know, that way I can get some hot rice for that matter. So, you know, would I recommend this? At the moment, no, I wouldn't recommend this one because uh, there's just a lot of unknowns with that recipe, with those directions. That was kind of a killer for me. And then in terms of the flavor, I think there's just better flavors out there. It is good though. And uh, I mean, if someone were to say like, oh, I bought this, I wouldn't say it's like, oh, why'd you buy that by any means? I would say, oh yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, but what I would I tell people to go out of their way to go buy it at Sam's Club? I want to do that. I would recommend um, other options. All right, well, that'll do it for me uh, for today. Um, I will say, though, but because I still have the other half, I'm going to do a filming part two, and that part two will be tomorrow, and I'll just, I'll just add on to this vlog so I can just keep it all in one. Um, and who knows? My opinion could be subject to change after I follow the directions and you know, maybe have the hot rice with it and stuff like that. So subject to change, I will eat the other half tomorrow. Hello everyone, it is the next day now. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start preheating the oven to 400. Uh, I'm gonna cook it for 400 degrees for 15 minutes. Um, yeah, I don't really trust what they're doing in terms of 40 minutes at 350. I feel like it's just still a lot. And I feel like the rice is gonna get burnt. Um, so. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cook it for what I think it should just get cooked at. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm in my jacket and hat. That's because I just got back home from running some errands. So kind of one nice thing is, again, the convenience of like it being a pre-made meal. So, you know, it definitely has that going for it. Um, you know, we'll see uh, with the rice heated up and everything if I will you know, officially recommend it or not, though, if my opinion will change there. So I'm going to go ahead and cook it. And I will be back when everything's all cooked and plated for that matter. So see you in a bit. 
Here it is all cooked up. Uh, just as I suspected, the rice did stick to the pan a little bit. So, you know, I'm hoping it's not like burnt and crunchy and whatnot. So yeah, I, I just had to like basically scoop it out of the pan and that's why it's a really big pile right now rather than like the rice as the bedding and the chicken on top like I had it last time. So did my best with what I was given. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and dig into it and try it out and do one more final review. It does smell very hot again, like spicy hot. There's a lot of spice to it. Um, you know, I don't know, just there's a lot of very spicy scent, I guess you could say. So go ahead and try it out now though. Um, again, still very Mandarin smelling as well too though. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and try it out now with the hot rice. I would say it's definitely better than the last time, especially with the rice situation. And I'm glad my rice isn't crunching or anything like that after a lot of it like stuck onto the pan. Um, but in the directions they say to just cook it right in the pan. So again, I followed the directions this time. And I mean, I only cooked it for 15 minutes. I can't imagine what cooking it for 40 minutes will leave the rice as. So here we go. Definitely better than last time. Um, I like the convenience of, you know, it was ready for me to make right as I got home and that sort of thing. So, um, again, would I recommend it? Would I say go out of your way to go get it? Honestly, on this one, I would say no. Um, but if you were to get it because you want to try it out or you want something for the convenience of it, um, yeah, this is this is a good option. Um, so yeah, kind of a kind of a downer of an episode. I feel like uh, in terms of it being just kind of like okay, orange chicken, but. You know, I'm probably going to have plenty more episodes where this might be the situation where it's uh, below average orange chicken, essentially. So, um, you know, it is what it is. I still look forward to the next episode and, uh, you know, let's, I'm going to try to go for a good one this time, or at least a surefire good one, because as I've said, I do have another orange chicken from Sam's Club that is basically my favorite. So, um, yeah, looking forward to the next episode.